Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? I started my vlog out. I'm like a Heinz 57 ketchup sometimes, and what I do is I, uh, you know, I delete all the videos, start all over, reformat the whole camera once again. So let's get going on this nice talk. I think I could get one of those, you know, park my car anywhere I want, and uh, off I go. These things are great, man. Put a little uh, bull bar on it, and a couple LEDs, and man, you'll be uh, bling bling for sure. Today I'm out with the GoPro Hero 10 Black Media Module Front Mic on. I have my settings set as uh, 4K, 60 frames per second, hyper smooth on high, EV negative 1.0, bit rate high, EV negative 1.0 if I did not mention that again. ISO minimum and maximum 100, 800, I believe, sharpness low. Created a shortcut in the lower right, which is difficult on any camera, and that would be for the wind being on off. When I do all my editing, it's in Power Director 19, and I uh, get down towards where it's five minutes and above. I have some difficulty uh, editing the video because it starts to give a lag, stutter, and just hesitation. And, and then it speeds up and it uh, goes normal. So I can't edit a good 15-20 minutes. It's just that I have to take my time. I'm looking for a uh, new laptop as you heard. Always looking and I just gotta wait till I see something that comes out pretty nice. Just like this shot coming real nice and then looking over the chart of both the Atlantic you can see the Sun is just about coming up I'm doing a slow diagonal straight pan I felt like I was uh, falling off my bicycle for a second oh yeah bikes talking to me the seat basically uh, tilted sideways like this but the opposite way and now I straight it out. Maybe I have to tie it up. Something I need to look at. I uh, just got spoken to in a different language. Probably said good morning to me and I said good morning back. And that's probably the first time that somebody said something to me in a very long time. When you're at about, do people say good morning to you out of nowhere? I'm most sure they do. New York, we just basically give that look. I hope the GoPro does fine because it's very windy and yeah, Ohio Fred, there you go buddy, I just did a turn for you, hands free and the wind is knocking me over. I went out and I got some stuff on my other vlog like Germanex which we needed and I uh, got the uh, arugula which mom wanted and I got my carrot seeds. I put them in the ground again and I started some on the paper towel method and I should do some arugula that way as well and I did some yellow and orange and red peppers that way also and uh, it's gonna get nice and hot and rain nice and cold and rain nice and hot and sun you name it if the wind is too kicking I'll just add music to it but you know I wish I had some music to add to you know, those uh, artist music. I haven't done a time warp in a long time. And I didn't use the rail button, which, you know, slows it down. And if you're going fast, you can half speed it as well. I had a good time. Uh, I tried to uh, center myself towards the uh, garbage cans and then try to show that I was going through the uh, inside of the uh, fence. And I'm almost, almost where I need to be at. And I'll pull over and take a little breather. The pollen is really getting to me. Somebody will always squeeze through. They put these... Uh, you know, fences up and it's a deterrent and what they do is uh, stop the people from not looking where they're walking and they just bang right into them you can watch them just fall down 
Nah, it's just to, you know, protect uh, other people from uh, colliding into one another. Somebody thought they had a great idea. I don't know. Anyway, he's telling you the story. I don't know if I'm 100% in the shot, so what I am going to do is just pause my video and see what I got, because GoPro's front screen, you don't know how wide it is. Is it right here is my end? And right here, my end, like right here. Let me go take a look. Yeah, I gotta go uh, in one of these. Go all the way over here so I can get into the shot. And it just gives me just a little bit more what I need. But I may have to talk louder to the camera so you can get the back shot. And I'm not comfortable sitting on a, a park bench like this and the camera is tilted like so. Oh, the sun is just coming up, and like I tell you, somebody did come across, and they walked right around, and uh, it's just a beautiful day. GoPro media module with the wind noise off, talking a nice natural voice that should get your excellent audio sound. And let's all thank Danny Black for pointing this out on his channel and also sharing his low light setting using the uh, Inky Falcon Plus, was it? Or the Hohem? I believe he has the Inky Falcon Plus while Steve WB has the Hohem. Oh, we're going to hear a challenge. The Hohem versus the Falcon. Well, the Hohem has more of an ergonomic grip, but it has the shorter uh, little tripod. And I personally prefer the Inky over the Hohem for a couple of my personal reasons. And I can't think of them right now. But I believe one of them could have been, I couldn't get the camera to turn on correctly with the, uh, with the uh, Hohem. And I couldn't get it to turn off uh, correctly with the Hohem. Something like that. And the cables they give you, uh, they charge a, uh, an astronomical price for just uh, two or three of them. And they're super short to fit on the actual GoPro Hero 10 and media module. It's not meant for it. Even the GoPro, it won't fit on it, hooking it up. You have to turn the camera upside down and all, and that will get the point to course. I told you, people just come right on top of you because I want to give you this. Please, please take this, buddy. You're going to need it. Trust me. It's uh, keep uh, everybody next to you. It's called the magnet. I'm just kidding. And the whole hem, uh, I love the gimbal. I just felt I, I don't need all the gimbals. And I wish, you know, Inky would have put in motion uh, time lapse, motion lapse, giving you the application use of the gimbal doing its set points and everything. Sun's coming up. And here comes another contestant walking right on the line. My video has a lot of information stored in it, and you have to just look for it. And I've been doing this for so many years. I used to point it out and everything. I just, you know, just do it naturally. I set my settings, and I may not remember uh, what I set it to. This is auto. Auto wind. And the wind is coming across like this, gentle, a subtle breeze. And the sun is coming up, and you can hear the difference. The only thing I got to do now is just switch it over to on. And who wants to keep things on or off? And that's something I have to do with my Sony HX90V. It's either on or off. So let's switch on over. Three times is a charm, buddy. And, you know... It is what it is, you don't worry about it. We're on, on, and this is on. It should give you maybe uh, further noise. You hear the subways that are going, that constant uh, static sound in the background. <coughs> you got some pigeons, seagulls in the sun, and the clouds with some pale blue, white haze. So I'm going to switch everything back and I'm going to uh, finish off my ride towards the end of the pier and head on home. I had a great talk with everybody so let's continue the review and move on.
Did I say review? The vlog. Come on, fish. Get your act together. You're getting all of these people coming in and they're having a great time enjoying your video. Let's move along. That sun is sure slowly coming up and the wind is starting to move along. I see the usual guy that uh, came by me so close. So we'll go on the right hand side this time. So I know if I stay on the left, he'll meet up with me and he'll walk right next to me. I might as well just go right next to him and catch him on video for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Hang on, I'll point out how close we love walking next to one another. Look at that, we walk right next to all the real estate. He says, hello, the usual indeed. So we all hit the pothole, the only pothole on the boardwalk I hit, man. Oh yeah. And yeah, I give these people credit, man. People say hello. Remember, remember I said earlier on, does anybody say hello to you? They wave, they do. You just don't see it. We do it our own way. That sun is sure slowly coming up and the wind is starting to move along. I see the usual guy that uh, came by me so close. So we'll go on the right hand side this time. So I know if I stay on the left, he'll meet up with me and he'll walk right next to me. Oh, I might as well just go right next to him and catch him on video for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Hang on, I'll point out how close we love walking next to one another. Look at that, we walk right next to all oh, that real estate. He says, hello, the usual indeed. So we all hit the pothole, the only pothole on the boardwalk I hit, man. Oh yeah. And yeah, I give these people credit, man. People say hello. Remember, remember I said earlier on, does anybody say hello to you? They wave, they do. You just don't see it. We do it our own way. Well, the sun is coming up right over there and it's got uh, some type of, uh, you know, uh, cover, screen, a film and it's preventing uh, they're getting a good shot indeed. Yeah, so we'll ride off to the end and we'll head on back home. Listen to the waves of the ocean crashing on the floor. Turn the camera around, trying to feed the pigeons down here. Just amazing what you come across. You got to be careful where you go. Eh, they sleep all over, man. Sheltered people. And it is what it is. So, uh, just, you know, keep my distance, go somewhere else, and come over here towards the end. Oh, the wind is kicking. Not kicking too hard. Uh, let me uh, bring you to the basement, and, uh, you know, maybe you'll uh, get the point, right? Come to the basement. Oh yeah. There's my steps to the basement, man. I'll open up the gate for you. You can jump right in. I got the wind kicking this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn towards the ocean. I did this before. You can watch other videos. Staten Island, Heights Town in the distance. Cranberry, you're not going to see that because Heights Town is the water, Cranberry's inland. Got a beautiful pan. I'm going to head on back and give a little talk and enjoy the rest. So let's get on out of here, real slow pan. Oh, I miss the ocean, I miss the day's cruise.
I've been on about 10 to 20 cruises. I've been to all the Southern Caribbean. I've been on the Celebrity Equinox, Eclipse, Reflection. I've been on the Norwegian Sky. I've been on the, uh, the Princess, I forget which name, the Royal Princess ship. And I've been on a number of other uh, sister ships of the same. <laughs> there he goes. Great job, man. Have a great time. Spend your summer enjoying it. Not just sitting in the room, but you know, we all do our things. Hey, Ohio Fred. Guess what, Ohio Fred? Here I am, buddy. My bike is trained and knows what to do. Oh yeah, I'm losing it. Well, like I said, uh, the wind is kicking and uh, yeah, uh, I'll save these videos for a rainy day. And I'll edit it. Rainy day's coming later, real soon. I hope you uh, enjoyed my gardening video. Me uh, picking the radishes, replacing the radishes, and all that good stuff. And I got peppers, uh, seeds uh, germinating. Uh, day one, they're not gonna do anything, but maybe by uh, day four and five, they'll pick up. But I replanted my pepper into a plastic jug, and we'll see how good they do. And also, uh, got lettuce, it's really improving, and the wind is kicking. I'm shocked at the carrot that is growing, man. It's got the little head, boy, it looks good. And, uh, I know I got other things in there, other lettuces I didn't see. But yeah, I got the uh, geraniums for Mary Reed. And I planted uh, a number of them in the front and a good number next to what is uh, coming up already. And that's the myrtle crepe. And it's showing leaves on the plant, the brush. And the dew drop is gonna wake up. It's gonna do good because all this rain gives it all that nutrition it need nutrition that it needs they do a great job well, let's continue on i'm getting exhausted from the wind i feel like it's like uh 10 days later i'm still waiting for some uh, confirmation of my uh, insta 361 x2 and i'm not even sure if it's going to ship anytime soon it was supposed to be a holiday or vacation for some people and we'll see what happens uh, and it'll probably just show up at my doorstep before you know it. And I did a video uh, the other day of uh, the Samsung Gear 360 2017. And when I held the camera, like, you know, uh, pointing out about, uh, let's say, 2 o'clock position. And the problem with that was I couldn't stabilize the video. No, I couldn't uh, correctly rotate it around the way I wanted to. It just basically stopped. Maybe because I set a set point in uh, Power Director that caused it to stop. But I went into uh, 2022 Studio and it edited the video, no problems. I was able to take noise uh, reduction into it and color correction, but it was 1080p. I couldn't get Action Director 2.0 on because it needed uh, framework or something that wouldn't load up on my machine thanks to Lenovo. Yeah, so for me, that's going to be a great improvement from a Samsung to the Insta. And yeah, put that Samsung to the shelf and keep it there. And I just want to tell you something that just came right to my mind. I lost another SD slot with an SDXE card that I would take to uh, Best Buy and check my footage out on. And I couldn't find it. And I said, oh, look at that. Right down on the floor next to my uh, battery power banks for the solar panel. They were right there. And man, let me tell you. I got to go get a piece of wood. And I got to put little slots in it. And stick those uh, SD slots in there so they don't fall off the table. And I want to thank Steve WB when we did that uh, you know, live stream. That's when I lost it. Days later, I found it. A while back, a uh, number of days, weeks, months, whenever, I said there would be some change. And that wasn't the change I was talking about. But, you know, things always do change. And, you know, I changed for the better, not for the worse. And we'll hope uh, I'll make things right and get it done correctly for all. And share my stories and vlogs and 
you know, whole life with you. Well, I said a lot, did a lot, talked a lot. And you know it's about that time to almost get that. And do you like what I'm doing with the uh, intro and outro? Could there be an improvement with it? You tell me. Uh, you want me to go back to the old, old style? And you may not uh, be interested in skip the video. At least these are about what? A few seconds long, not an hour long. I do think I need to tweak my outro just by maybe uh, 0.75 of a second and get it done right. Oh yeah. And then I'll be spot on with what I do. So let's get that outro going. go do some things like an oil change transmission fluid maybe show how to rejack up a car put it correctly on and all that good stuff off we go <laughs> 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 